Hello and welcome to a special edition of the Hampton Road Show. I'm Chris Reckling. And I'm Carrie Fury. Now, usually you find us weekdays at 11 a.m. on Wavy TV 10, but right now we're here to talk cars and trucks and SUVs. That's right. We've teamed up the Hampton Roads Auto Dealers Association to bring you a preview of the 2018 Hampton Roads International Auto Show right here on the Hampton Road Show. Goes together, that's right. There's no pressure to buy at the show, which is what makes it stress-free and really all about just exploring the many different vehicles that are on display. So what do you say we get started? That sounds good to me. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines <laughs> for a special auto show edition of the Hampton Road Show. If it's in Hampton Roads, it's on the Hampton Roads Show. That is right. This edition of the Hampton Roads Show is all about the 2018 Hampton Roads International Auto Show. It's taking over the Virginia Beach Convention Center this weekend. All right. From the makes and models you'll see on the floor to the family fun for everybody. We'll get the details from HRADA's 2018 President Lee Gonzalez. And imagine your dream SUV just became a reality. We'll take a bumper to bumper look at Ford's gorgeous new 2018 Expedition Platinum. Plus, Mike Amuzio from Kelly Blue Book has a look at this year's Best Buy Award winners, and he shares some tips on how to shop for your next set of wheels. The days of driving your car may soon be coming to an end thanks to self driving cars. How will this big change affect our world of transportation and society as we know it are just a couple of answers we will get from Rut Bridges, the author of the new book, Driverless Car Revolution. Welcome to a special edition of the Hampton Road Show. The HR ADA Auto Show is one of the most exciting events in Virginia Beach. And your chance to see new models and innovations that are either on the road now or will define the cars of the future. In the next hour, we'll talk about what you can see and do at the auto show and talk to industry experts about how to make a smart purchase and which vehicles are more likely to hold their value over time. Mm -hmm. But first, we want to get right to the buzz this morning. And as always, we do invite you to join our conversation as well. This is a special show, but we still want to hear from you. And first, we want to hear... Uh, I guess we said we talked about cars holding value over time, and the first thing we want you to do is kind of go back in time. Think Ooh, back to like the that. very first car that was yours. How exciting that is, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, going back a long time, I think maybe you should lead the way because I think okay. something about your car might be a little more special than mine. Oh, what was really? your first car? My first car was a Volkswagen Squareback. Uh, that was, this is not it exactly, this is not a picture of my car, but my car looked just like that. Same color, uh, same make, same model. I drove it while I was uh, stationed in the Azores, the island chained off the coast of Portugal in the Navy. And that's kind of, there were these cars on the island that never left the, iron and the island. And as people swapped duty stations, we sold these cars to each other. And if we were really nice, we gave the name of the mechanic on the island oh, who knew them inside nice. and out and kept them running for years and years. But I just loved that car. What a loved cool looking it. car. Don't you it wish you really had it today? My, my car's not as sexy as that. You it think, a, oh. But that's cool. Really? <laughs> I mean, that's, it really looks cool. Okay, so mine was a 19, and that's probably it right there, Ooh. a 1975 four-door Mercury Monarch. Okay. Okay, um, it was kind of a glider. It was kind of cool, yeah. and what I like most about it is it had a speaker in the front grill, and a, and I had a walkie-talkie, and I could just talk to everyone and ev anywhere. It was yeah. super cool, but my dad was uh, worked on cars his whole life, and I had a bunch of different cars. I also had a 1969 Thunderbird, mm -hmm. a 1969 Camaro, um, and some other really super cool cars yeah. that he was able to get his hands on, um, so I didn't have them very long. Right. But... Well, I'll never forget the first one. If you've got a photo or story or something you want to share about your first vehicle, please share it with us. And, of course, when it comes to your first car, you take what you can get. But now we also want to know, now that you can be a little choosier, more choosy, hopefully, what matters most? Is it the safety features? Is it the power, um, fuel economy? What matters to you most when you are making a purchase now? Um, you can join our conversation on our Facebook page. You can follow us on Twitter at HR underscore show. We're also on Instagram at Hampton Roadshow. 
Okay, from cars and trucks to vans and SUVs, you can see plenty of new models at the 2018 HRADA International Auto Show. All right, so in case you're making a list, we thought we'd take some time just to introduce you to some of those makes and models that you can expect to see this weekend. Nearly every franchise will be on display at the Hampton Roads International Auto Show. Nearly 30 manufacturers will be bringing their goods for auto show attendees to see. Check out Buick. Chevrolet. Chrysler. Dodge. Fiat. GMC Honda Hyundai Kia Mazda Nissan Ram Smart Subaru Toyota Volkswagen Remember, this is a non-selling show. There's no pressure to buy. So many models will be on display. Come, look, compare, and try them all. Awesome. Nice. That's the biggest thing, too. No one is going to pressure you Just relax. to buy a car, but you can explore at your own speed, get and inside. Enjoy the show. Yep. All right, don't go away. We are just getting started on this very special edition of the Hampton Road Show. From heated seats to horsepower, the gearheads at Kelly Blue Book aren't fooled by fancy features. Coming up, we'll find out who they've picked as this year's Best Buy Award winners.
But first, we're talking with 2018 HRADA President Lee Gonzalez about what you need to know about this year's auto show. And throughout the show, we have some trivia questions for you in our pop quiz trivia. Here's your first one. We'll be right back. Davis, follow me online and I'll get you connected to everything happening in our community and, of course, the hottest shows on TV. On the Scene Report, sponsored by Bayport Credit Union, the smarter way to bank. We launched Priorities for Life 14 years ago to save priority car and truck buyers money. And Priorities for Life has saved them more than we ever imagined. Last year alone, Priority dealerships delivered more than 200,000 oil changes and other services, no charge. That saved Priority owners at least $5 million. Today, thousands are enjoying Priorities for Life savings. Why would you not make your next car a priority? You can have it. With these injuries, we are on the hook for a boatload. I'm going to bury them. Delay them. Forever. Well... They'll come around. Right. They always do. Uh, they brought in the law offices of Calphus and Nackman. Could you handle this one? If you've been injured in an accident, tell them you mean business. Call on the hurt line. Calphus and Nackman. Right now. Great selection and ultimate customer satisfaction. Know who you're riding with. Charles Barker Automotive. Welcome back to the Hampton Roads Show. We've teamed up with the Hampton Roads Auto Dealers Association to bring you a look at the 2018 Hampton Roads Auto Show. Here now to tell us more about this exciting weekend at the Virginia Beach Convention Center is HRADA 2018 President Lee Gonzalez Lee. Welcome to the Hampton Road Show. Thank you. It's wonderful to be here. Now, I know you're excited about this. What a great show this is. Tell me about it. It's so exciting. It's coming up this weekend at the Virginia Beach Convention Center, and it is the largest event to be held at the Virginia Beach Convention Center. Every inch of floor space and lobby space is going to be covered with every make and model you can imagine. All the, um, the automotive dealer groups, all of the um, the vehicles that are represented at those groups are going to be at the um, auto show this weekend. You know, there's a lot of areas around the state of Virginia that hold an auto show, but none are bigger than this one. This is, a, right. this is a really big deal. Yes, it's the biggest auto show in Virginia. We're and, so excited. And what I like about it is when you go in there, you can see every new car available today, it seems, and it's kind of relaxing, and it's really Correct. nice to see what's available. Talk about the environment. Yes, it's going to be um, every 2000, new 2018 model that you can think of, um, and it's going to be a non-selling environment. So there's going to be product specialists that know so much about these vehicles that are going to be experts just to present the vehicles and answer any questions that you might have. And, and that's sort of, you know, let's be honest, that's kind of the nicest thing is non-selling. So if you just want to go out mm -hmm. there and look at the cars and look at your dream car, whatever it is, you go, you see it, you go from car to car to make the manufacturer. Sure. And if you have the questions, they'll answer it for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. If you've got several vehicles on your list that mm -hmm. you're interested in, you want to take a look at all of them and do it in one afternoon, it's it's an easy way to go from car to car and see see everything that you want to see. And, and let's be honest, Lee, um, we're so lucky that it wasn't last weekend. Yes. You know, I mean, seriously, yes. one week later, it is going to be a, a great day to get outside. And even if it's cold, wet, or rainy, it's indoors. And yes. it's and like you said, every inch will be covered with cars. Yep. Indoors, climate controlled. We're all going a little crazy from being stuck inside with the snow. And mm -hmm. so it's a great opportunity to get out and, 
and see what's out there. See a shiny new car <laughs> and what the future has to hold. Um, yes. So um, there's not just cars, but there's also other, other vehicles and other manufacturers. There's all kinds of things involved at the show. Yes, yes. There's going to be um, pre-production and prototype vehicles mm -hmm. that, um, that many in the public haven't even seen before. So it's a great opportunity to get out and see that. Uh, you know, it's kind of neat is we're at the top of the show, we talked about um, the first car that we've ever had. Yes. And uh, mine was the Mercury Monarch and some other beautiful old cars. And we all love our classics. And it seems like the first car you owned was a classic. I don't know about you, but what was your first car? My first car was a Toyota pickup truck. And it's before it even had a model name. It was just Toyota truck. So you went stra right, straight with the truck? Yes. Yes, it was a manual transmission. And I uh -huh. was the... You know, the girl driving the tr pickup truck. I That's loved good. it. I yeah. like that. So listen, if you like a truck, if you like a van, an SUV, a sports car, or whatever it is, mm -hmm. you'll find it this week at the convention That's center. That's right. That's right. Exciting stuff. Lee, thank you for joining us today. And don't thank forget, you. she's going to be coming back in a few minutes, to the, uh, in a, just a few more minutes, to tell us more about this exciting weekend uh, hosting at the, at the auto show. Um, it is this Saturday, Friday through Saturday at 10 a.m. to 9, Sunday from 10 to 6 at the Virginia Beach Convention Center. For tickets, schedule discounts, and all the information you need to visit Hampton Roads Show, uh, Hampton Roads Auto Show .com. Well, after kicking the tires and running the numbers on 2018 model year cars, trucks, minivans, and SUVs, Kelly Blue Book's expert editors have announced the 2018 Best Buy Award winners. Joining me now with a look at the winners and some tips on helping you shop for your next new car is Kelly Blue Book managing editor, Micah Musio. Welcome to the Hampton Road Show. Thank you for having me. Yeah, let's talk about cars and not just any cars. Let's talk about best buys for 2018. Uh, I've got three cars in the studio here with me, and uh, this is a, a, a 12 vehicles we've assembled for 2018. How do we get together with, uh, how, do we, how do we pull together our list of 12 best buys? It's a meticulous process that involves just driving virtually every car every year, doing a bunch of comparison tests, and then getting a subset and testing those vehicles for six weeks. I'm exhausted, but the takeaway <laughs> is that we've got some really cool cars, one of which is the Honda Accord. This is our midsize winner in the uh, sedan category, midsize sedan category, and it's also our overall winner. And the reasons why we love the Accord are many. One, it rides and handles great. Two, the interior is roomy and exceptionally uh, well uh, organized. Everything is kind of exactly where you would expect it to be, uh, which is great. And also, if you sit in the back seat, it's it's like you can barely touch the uh, the front seat back. It's it's that big. It's almost like driving a full size, except in a mid size package. And then what's remarkable to me, two things: one, fuel economy up to 38 mpg on the highway, which is great for a mid size sedan. And two, standard equipment uh, for a $24,500 base price is Honda Sensing, which is a package of active driver assist. So uh, let's say you stop paying attention while you're driving, and the car starts to go out of its lane, the mm. Honda Accord will detect that and steer you back in. How's that? That's pretty good, especially since we see a lot of drifting these days with people on their phones. But I also wanted to mention, Micah, this looks like a nod to the aftermarketeers, right? For years, you didn't see a front end on a car like that coming out of the factory. That was done by aftermarket tuners and designers out there. And it seems like Honda's kind of caught on that people really like it. Yeah, that's always the trick, right? You want to create a car that, uh, you know, creates genuine human emotion uh, when you look at it, but you don't want to go too far and start alienating people. And I think they've kind of hit that sweet spot with that uh, blunt, kind of aggressive nose. Uh, although, actually, I, I do think it kind of looks a little like a unibrow, but in a good way. It's got, the, <laughs> it's got the panache to pull it off. Yeah. All right. All right, let's move on. I know you got a couple more models to talk about. Yeah, so uh, if you have luxurious taste, which perhaps you might, uh, this is the Audi Q5. This is our luxury SUV winner, and we really like it because, A, it comes with Quattro all-wheel drive standard, which means you can really get the power to the ground if you live somewhere wintry and, or if you just like to drive on random dirt roads. Uh, also, great power, 252 horsepower, and a really long standard equipment list, including a power tailgate and three-zone automatic climate control. And if you're the kind of person who likes their smartphone, you can use your smartphone through the head unit with standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So awesome. we really like the Audi Q5, but let's say you've got bigger tastes. You need uh, something that can accommodate eight adults. Say hello to the Ford Expedition. It's all new for 2018, and we really like it. An independent rear suspension gives it great ride and handling. Uh, 15 cup holders, so no one, uh, none of your eight passengers will ever be without a beverage. And we love the fact that it's got up to 400 horsepower, but returns up to 24 miles per gallon on the freeway, which is 
really, really good for a large SUV. And, uh, you know, they took a bunch of weight out of the vehicle by adding aluminum body panels and turbocharging the engine and going to a six-cylinder. It's a bunch of technical stuff, but basically it can tow 9,300 pounds. It's super capable, yet surprisingly efficient. You know what, Mike? I don't care how many cup holders are on that thing. If I buy a brand-new 2018 SUV, no one's bringing a drink in my new car. Nobody! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the 15 cup holders are there just to mock them. Yep, we'll put something else in there. All right, thank you so much, Mike. I appreciate your time. Thanks for having me. I'm so bringing a, a drink into your car. You are not. I am so bringing, not just one, but two drinks. So I'm envious. Soda pop in one, a coffee in the other, and oops, I spilled it on you. Yep. We'll see. We'll, see. we'll be sure to let you know if that ever happens, Hampton Roads. Um, I'm jealous, though, because later in the show you get even more a, a closer look at it's, that very same SUV. We were yes. just talking about the Pretty 2018 Expedition but those Platinum. Were, those were all really nice rides there. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're all, you know, small, medium, large. Well, you know what? I mean, it's people drive what expresses their individuality sometimes, I think. So, mm -hmm. I mean, naturally, you're going to find a lot of variety out there. Um, and we're going to talk more about the things that you can see at the auto show, speaking of variety. But uh, first, we had asked you to buzz in about your very, very first car, which often may first not ride. be your dream car. And, and I but think if you were just shouldn't. dreaming of having a car. I, I think it should. And I think for the first time driver, let's say you're 16 years old, you're happy to have something with four wheels, period. And it's just because it gets you from A to B, and that's mm -hmm. fine. It just so happens some cars are nice and others. And then there's a classic like yours right there. That was the first car that was mine all mine. I was 20 years old. I purchased it for $300 from uh, somebody else who was driving it while they were serving out their orders on and at the Azores when, when I was in the Navy. I drove it for 15 months and then sold it to someone else. That's uh, awesome. I think I paid $100 to insure it for the year That's against beautiful. things like goats. <laughs> <laughs> you just never know. <laughs> Obstacles in but the But I loved it. I loved it. I thought it was the coolest car. Not always the most, you know, it had its quirks. Sometimes I had to push it to start yeah. it. Okay, Thanks. real real quickly, when I share a couple with you, Deb, that, that's mine right there, the, the Mercury Monarch. Debbie said she, her first car was a Corvair. Poor thing did not run well, but it got me where I needed to go. As a team, I worked part time. As a teen, I worked part time, and the car always got me where there and back. Sometimes with a big old puff of smoke, but off we went. Good memories. Mm hmm. So Sydney says I've always wanted to have a 1972 Corvette. The year I graduated high school, until recently, I saw one with antique tags. Kind of takes the luster off the desire when your dream car now qualifies as an antique. And real quick, Daniel says, I bought a 1957 Chevrolet, uh, Chevrolet in 67 for 150 <laughs> traded in Dollars. on a Carmen Ghia. Wow, cool. Sweet. Very cool. Thanks for sharing that. All right, more of that in just a little bit. Also still ahead in our very special edition of the Hampton Road Show, we're going to have you ooing and aahing as we take a look at some of the luxury vehicles that will be represented at the 2018 Hampton Roads International Auto Show all weekend. Well, check out this beautiful ride. It's not only stylish, but it's also very safe. We're talking all about the all-new 2018 Ford Expedition. And throughout the show, we have some trivia questions for you for Pop Quiz Trivia. Here's another one. We'll be right back. Running a red light is a leading cause of intersection collisions. Even if you're in a hurry, never speed up to make a yellow light. Slow down before the intersection and stay safe on the road. Brought to you by Bannister Automotive. If you're injured, don't talk to the insurance company. They will do anything to save them money. It doesn't cost you anything to meet with Huffman & Huffman. They'll make sure you get the money you deserve. Let our family help your family. Huffman & Huffman. The Hampton Roads Show takes you inside the 2018 Hampton Roads International Auto Show. Sponsored in part by your local Ford dealer. Some say all good things must come to an end. But at First Team Toyota, we believe otherwise. From the auto group that brought you lifetime warranty comes First Team Forever. Imagine a nationwide warranty forever. Oil changes forever and so much more. After the Hampton Roads Auto Show, visit FirstTeamToyota.com to learn more. First Team Toyota. Forever 
starts now. The Buzz on the Hampton Road Show is presented by Bayport Credit Union, the smarter way to bank. The vehicle experts recommend holding the wheel at 3 and 9 o'clock to avoid injury if the airbag deploys. Keep your hands on the wheel at all times and stay safe on the road. Brought to you by Bannister Automotive. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Want to see a trick? You make it for those who need an extra hand. And a little heads up. You okay, bud? That's Ford. And that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Just announced to get a 2018 Ford Escape with 0% financing for 60 months plus $1,000 bonus cash. See your local Ford dealers today. It's Virginia's largest auto show at the Virginia Beach Convention Center. January 12th through the 14th, virtually every 2018 make and model on display in a completely non-selling environment. Come vote for your favorite ride from the 60s and be entered to win a $500 gas card. Text Auto Show to 77000 to try for free tickets. Visit with Scooby-Doo. Like us on Facebook for a chance to win tickets. Complete details and coupons HamptonRoadsAutoShow.com. Don't miss the 2018 Hampton Roads International Auto Show at the Virginia Beach Convention Center, January 12th through the 14th. special edition of the Hampton Road Show. Whether you're just going to the store, maybe you've been planning that cross-country trip, you want your journey to be a smooth one. Bumper to bumper, the 2018 Ford Expedition Platinum has everything you want in an SUV from comfort inside to power under the hood. If you want to arrive in style, we have just the car for you, or shall I say, full-size SUV. Leah, tell me all about the all-new 2018 Expedition. All right, this is our 2018 Platinum Expedition, completely reinvented from the inside out. This is the smartest, most capable, most adaptable Expedition we've ever brought to market. This is a beautiful vehicle. Something tells me it really shines under the hood. It does. It has a 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine and 10 speed automatic transmission, which is all new to the Expedition. In the Platinum Series specifically, we have 400 horsepower, 480 pound feet of torque, and if customers are looking to tow with this vehicle, they have up to 9,300 pounds of towing capacity to work with. So if you want to tow your camper, your trailer, your boat, no problem with the Expedition. No problem. It can handle it. Okay, so let's talk about the interior because I can tell it looks great inside. The interior is what really sets this vehicle apart from all other Expeditions we've brought to market. It can seat up to eight adults comfortably. It has second row tip and slide seating that allows easy access into the third row. In addition, we have best-in-class second and third row legroom. It's a great vehicle for the entire family, but tell me about the technology on the inside because that's really important to consumers. It is very important, and if you are looking for best-in-class technology, you will find it in the Expedition. This vehicle has a Wi-Fi hotspot that can connect up to 10 devices at one time and has a 50-foot range outside the vehicle. We also have charging ports in each of the rows, which will keep those connected devices charged at all times, which is a great added benefit for any family, any group that's traveling on a long road trip. Right. Moms and dad, you heard that. Plenty of ports in the back. Okay, not just that, but what is this SYNC 3 I'm hearing? SYNC 3 is the best technology feature that we have in the Expedition. It has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability. In addition, we have SYNC Connect capability, which allows customers to lock, unlock, start, and stop their vehicle from anywhere in the world, all while using their Ford Pass smartphone app. All right, looks great on the inside. Let's get back to the outside again. I see the running boards and the sunroof. You got a little bit of everything for everybody. We do. We have everything. Retractable running boards, which will provide ease of use of getting into the vehicle, and a Vista panoramic sunroof that has a great view for all people on board. Leah, let's talk about safety features because that's so important to consumers. How is this vehicle more safe today than ever? This vehicle has more driver assist safety features than any other vehicle in the segment. A few of my favorite features is the rotary gear shift, which replaces the traditional center console. And right next to it, we have the driver selectable terrain management system, which is an easy to use technology with up to seven drive modes which allows the expedition and the driver to intuitively adapt to any changing road condition. And it'll break on its own. 
It will. We have pre-collision assist with pedestrian detection. And what that does is it will monitor when a vehicle or a pedestrian steps in front of you and will give you the opportunity to brake. But if you can't brake your vehicle, it will do it for you, keeping everyone involved safe. Stylish and safe. What a great vehicle. I know Ford's very proud of this. We're incredibly proud to bring this refreshed expedition to market, giving customers exactly what they want in a full-size SUV. Leah, thank you so much for joining us today on the Hampton Road Show. Thank you. Amazing. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Check out the 2018 Ford Expedition Platinum and all the other great models from Ford at the Hampton Roads Auto Show. You can also head to your local Ford dealer or visit them online at buyfordnow.com. All right, still to come, the future of driving is headed to driverless cars, and it's closer than you think. What does this mean for everyday driving and transportation? We will get a few answers from the author of the book, The Driverless Car Revolution. And here's another auto show pop quiz trivia question for you. We're back in a moment. Great selection and ultimate customer satisfaction. Know who you're riding with. Charles Barker Automotive. We launched Priorities for Life 14 years ago to save priority car and truck buyers money. And Priorities for Life has saved them more than we ever imagined. Last year alone, Priority dealerships delivered more than 200,000 oil changes and other services, no charge. That saved Priority owners at least $5 million. Today, thousands are enjoying Priorities for Life savings. Why would you not make your next car a priority? You can have it. It's Virginia's largest auto show at the Virginia Beach Convention Center. January 12th through the 14th, virtually every 2018 make and model on display in a completely non-selling environment. Come vote for your favorite ride from the 60s and be entered to win a $500 gas card. Text Auto Show to 77000 to try for free tickets. Visit with Scooby-Doo. Like us on Facebook for a chance to win tickets. Complete details and coupons, HamptonRoadsAutoShow.com. Don't miss the 2018 Hampton Roads International Auto Show at the Virginia Beach Convention Center, January 12th through the 14th. This is our community and our home. It's where we live. At Bayport, we invest in the people around us by supporting the organizations that benefit us all. We encourage our neighborhoods to grow and flourish together. We're proud of our commitment to the community and we'll always be there to lend a helping hand. Bayport Credit Union, the smarter way to bank. Some say all good things must come to an end. But at First Team Toyota, we believe otherwise. From the auto group that brought you lifetime warranty comes First Team Forever. Imagine a nationwide warranty forever. Oil changes forever and so much more. After the Hampton Roads Auto Show, visit FirstTeamToyota.com to learn more. First Team Toyota. Forever starts now. Welcome back to this special edition of Hampton Roadshow. There will be so many luxury makes and models on display at the 2018 Hampton Roads International Auto Show. So many, so we thought we'd take some time to introduce you to some of them. Almost every franchise will be on display at the Hampton Roads International Auto Show. Nearly 30 manufacturers will be bringing their goods for auto show attendees to see. Luxury lines are well represented by Acuron.
Infinity. Jaguar. Land Rover. Lexus. Lincoln. Maserati. Mercedes Benz. Mini. Porsche. Volvo. Remember, there's no pressure to buy. So many models will be on display, and you can see and sit in every make and model. Enjoy all the luxury vehicle shopping you can handle, hassle-free. That is the essence of the auto show right there, seeing all those cars yes. up close and personal. Wow. Yes, and like your chance to get up there and no one's going to say, get away from that luxury car, and no one's going to say, could you all. show me your proof of financing, Under please, one roof. Before you look right at it. No exactly. one's going to do that to you, so. Dream big. Check dream? it out. That's right. All right, now it's kind of an odd thing to do after what we just saw, right? Right. But now we want to you to imagine a world of cars with no driver hmm. because we're actually closer and closer to the day of driverless cars than you think. That's right. Several car manufacturers plan to have autonomous cars by 2021 and new cars today already have driverless technology such as self-braking yep. and blindside sensors. Mm -hmm. We're on the cusp of a transportation revolution and recently I got to sit down and discuss the future of driverless cars with Rut Bridges who is the author of the book Driverless Car Revolution. Imagine a car with no steering wheel or no gas pedal. How about this? No problem. Rut Bridges knows the future of driving better than anybody. <laughs> Autonomous cars, driverless cars, how close are we to this reality? You know, I think we're probably not more than five years before we start seeing these things in our neighborhood. Doesn't mean these are going to be dominant in five years or anything, but they're, they're going to be more common. It's going to change the landscape in years to come in so many different ways. What is the future for the average person out there who likes to drive their car? What will it look like in the future? Well, they're going to continue to drive their car. If they love driving cars, they ought to be able to do that. But there's a lot of people out there who aren't as passionate about it as I was when I was 16 years old. Half of the 16 to 19 year olds don't even have licenses in America today. And, and if you look at millennials, which are now the largest single demographic, the millennials basically are just not real passionate about cars. Yeah, but you know, here's the thing, it's, it's going to change the way we look at transportation. It will change the roads. There won't be as much congestion. You talked about parking spaces. How are we going to see changes, things change in our everyday life? Well, I think that in a lot of ways, you know, the, the change in your everyday life is not going to be as dramatic as people might think. The one thing they'll find is that if the car is driving them back and forth to work, it's that 25th hour in the day that you always wanted, you're finally going to get it. 
Now, if you if you spend that basically working on your job the whole time, that's one thing. It has a lot of value, but you may spend it watching cat videos if that's what you love. There you go, and and it will change public transportation. It will change the way we get around, and it will change a lot of jobs. It will change jobs, and in some ways negatively. Uh, if you look at what's going to happen when these cars are available. Uh, Taxis, for example, are already being eaten up by Uber and Lyft. The Uber and Lyft drivers, a lot of those people are going to basically go on to other things. Most of the Uber and Lyft drivers I've talked to, it's gig work. It's just a part-time thing. Lyft says they're going to continue to employ drivers because there are a lot of people that will be more comfortable with the driver there. And the first of these cars that go out will all have safety drivers. And, and I think that's the key too. People want to know that they can jump in a car that can drive itself and they're safe. Yes. Safety is the number one priority in a lot of these vehicles because if you look at the potential safety of a car that is capable of, of for example, seeing a deer standing in the just behind the trees that might leap out in front of you because it has infrared cameras and and being able to predict the path of thousands of objects all at one time uh, it really will I think and most people will argue cut more than in half the number of people that are dying on their highways and and, and it's also going to save a lot of money too in the future because you won't have to pay the, the auto insurance and people won't be losing their lives it's going to save in so many different ways even in electric uh, electric cars well the the book that i'm trying to finish by the end of this year is called driverless conquers congestion and when you look at all of the economic impacts from people's safety personal safety to the money they save and and using cars like this uh, because they'll be electric and the cost of that is far cheaper than gasoline. All of those different combinations, it's about a trillion dollars a year in the U.S. economy. You know, a lot of people hate change, but they know it's coming. This is something we shouldn't fear. We should embrace this, right, right? <laughs> some people will fear it no matter what. There are just some people that don't like change. But for young people, for millennials, and for seniors, you know, for a senior you know, I've had to go to my parents, and, and we had to go to my, my wife's parents. When you go and say, you got to give the keys up, you know, you're not safe anymore, they'll be able to give their keys up without giving up their personal freedom. It's 2018, and the future is here. <laughs> right? Thank it's you. coming fast. Thank you so much for joining us today. You bet. Enjoyed it. So Are you crazy ready? to Are think about. Are you think about it with commerce? Uh, pub mass transportation, everything that's going to change. It's going to change jobs. It's going to change the way we see the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, if we could just jump ahead, let's say 20 years, where yeah. will we be then? And the next generation of kids who never know what it's like to step on the gas pedal and go. Right. You know? Well, much in the same way we don't know what it's like to go on a stagecoach, <laughs> you right. know? I mean, hey, remember the Jetsons? Right. Like 1960s, they had them flying around. But maybe that's next. Mm -hmm. All right. Can way down the line. All right, hopefully we'll still be here to tell you all about it. Yeah. Uh, we know we'll be here with you for the next few minutes anyway, and still ahead in our special edition of the Hampton Road Show. We'll talk more with 2018 HRADA President Lee Gonzalez about the food, the entertainment, the fun, everything besides the cars happening at the Auto Show all weekend. Throughout the show, we have some Auto Show trivia questions for you. Here's another one for you. We'll be back in just a moment. If you encounter an aggressive or reckless driver, the quickest way to contact the police is by dialing pound 77 from your cell phone. Keep your distance and stay safe on the road. Brought to you by Bannister Automotive. <laughs> How do you become America's best-selling brand? Was he a trick? You make it for those who need an extra hand. And a little heads up. You okay, bud? That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Just announced to get a 2018 Ford Escape with 0% financing for 60 months plus $1,000 bonus cash. See your local Ford dealers today. Be sure to lock up your valuables, especially items that are clearly gifts. Store your luggage or purse out of sight in a trunk or glove compartment and stay safe on the road. Brought to you by Bannister Automotive.
Running a red light is a leading cause of intersection collisions. Even if you're in a hurry, never speed up to make a yellow light. Slow down before the intersection and stay safe on the road. Brought to you by Bannister Automotive. Some say all good things must come to an end. But at First Team Toyota, we believe otherwise. From the auto group that brought you lifetime warranty comes First Team Forever. Imagine a nationwide warranty forever. Oil changes forever and so much more. After the Hampton Roads Auto Show, visit FirstTeamToyota.com to learn more. First Team Toyota. Forever starts now. Vehicle experts recommend holding the wheel at 3 and 9 o'clock to avoid injury if the airbag deploys. Keep your hands on the wheel at all times and stay safe on the road. Brought to you by Bannister Automotive. Welcome back to this very special edition of the Hampton Road Show. While the cars certainly are the stars of the show. There is fun for everyone at the 2018 Hampton Roads Auto Show. HR ADA 2018 President Lee Gonzalez is back with us now to tell us about all of the fun things that are going on at the auto show. So thanks for hanging out with us today yes. to talk about this. I think if you're coming and you're interested in looking at the SUVs, it's probably because maybe you have a family, maybe you have children. I would rather stab my eyes out than take my kids <laughs> car shopping, but a car show is totally different and really is designed to be a family event. Yes, there's going to be fun for all ages. Mm -hmm. um, for the children, on Saturday and Sunday, Scooby-Doo will be there. Mm -hmm. and so I know my kids would love that. So. He would be nowhere without that mystery machine. <laughs> so vehicles and Scooby-Doo, that makes complete sense. So Saturday and Sunday, you can see Scooby. That's right. That's right. Um, as well, there's going to be um, accessory vendors to, to show you everything that there ha is there. Mm -hmm. There's um, going to be vehicles, a selection of vehicles from the swinging 60s. Yeah. So everyone can walk around and look at those and vote for their favorite. Mm -hmm. When you vote for your favorite, you're automatically registered to win a $500 gift card. So Perfect. everyone likes that. Um, you can, even though this isn't, uh, you know, car shopping in particular, mm -hmm. but you can take a test drive, though. That's right. Okay. That's right. Toyota will be there offering ride and drives. Mm -hmm. Four of their different vehicles. Yeah. So the brand new 2018 Camry just came out, and um, a lot of people, this is going to be their first time seeing that. Mm -hmm. um, the CHR will be there, as well as the RAV4 and the Tacoma. Okay, so you can get a little active there. And I also was reading something cool that folks will want to see uh, that the, some students are doing, Tidewater Community College are doing their Automotive Skills USA contest. That's right. That's where um, students from various schools and colleges come and they show off their repair and diagnostic skills. Um, mm -hmm. and, and we've got some very talented young um, future mechanics here that can show us everything that they're able to do. So these are the things that you kind of, in addition to just seeing the cars, you can like what are the most important yeah. features kind of like gas mileage safety heated seats blind spot detection i'm going to put you through to the test carrie fury here's a question for you we talked about autonomous cars driverless cars mm. if we go back many years what is the first feature that i think they introduced as part of the driverless car revolution i think the uh the sensor that you're about to back into something no nope, no nope, much further back much further back Okay, so I like put the car on autopilot. How would oh, cruise control. Cruise control. That was kind of like the very beginning of yes. what uh, driverless cars, cruise control. Yeah. And that's a great feature. We've had it for so long, but now it's kind of like you're sitting back right. and like, all right, take me to and the I'm harbor And I'm sure park. in the beginning there were folks that felt like that was really weird. Like I could take your foot off the gas and it's going to maintain the speed. And I think a lot of folks feel the same way about just trying to wrap their heads around not driving the car that they're in. It's a great feature, though. Mm -hmm. But there are so many more wonderful features out right now, and we want to know what yours are, uh, what you like the most. Debbie says, I do not like any of these new features that are the cars that they have now. I like a car with good safety records and a good gas mileage, plain and simple. Yeah. That's good. That's got to be safety. Mike B says, I like USB ports, but a feature on my wife's car that I really like is the brake hold. I don't have to keep my foot on the brake once we stop. Uh, and uh, let's see, uh, Donna says, I don't think I'll ever buy another car without heated seats. I love heated seats. We've talked a lot about heated seats they this week. They seem to come in handy <laughs> this time of year. Yes, yep. And Chris and I did a little carpooling because of the weather this week. And, and you have spoiled me. I do have heated seats. You have spoiled me. I you don't do know. not. I've got leather that's cold. I know. We 
it may be time for us to cruise the auto show and get inspired maybe to yes. maybe to update but we definitely appreciate uh, you guys buzzing in and sharing with us this morning about your first car and the things that are most important to you when it comes to your own now I, I tested I test I tested you we're testing you throughout the show we've had some trivia questions for you and our pop quiz trivia so here it is here's another one for you we'll do that in just a moment For a great selection and ultimate customer satisfaction, know who you're riding with. Charles Barker Automotive. We just moved in about four months ago, but the living room's pretty blank. We did a lot of research online. We just need to have a designer put it all together. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice when clients come in and have done some of their own research. What do you think about these chairs and that table? Working with the Bassett designer was really easy. As being young professionals, we're so busy, there's no way we could have designed it no. ourselves. We love it. It's time for Bassett's Winter Home Sale. Save 25% store-wide. Plus, through Monday, get up to $300 in extra savings. It's Virginia's largest auto show at the Virginia Beach Convention Center. January 12th through the 14th. Virtually every 2018 make and model on display in a completely non-selling environment. Come vote for your favorite ride from the 60s. And be entered to win a $500 gas card. Text Auto Show to 77000 to try for free tickets. Visit with Scooby-Doo. Like us on Facebook for a chance to win tickets. Complete details and coupons. HamptonRoadsAutoShow.com Don't miss the 2018 Hampton Roads International Auto Show at the Virginia Beach Convention Center. January 12th through the 14th. I like this organic mac and cheese. And I like this organic mac and cheese. Is that my mac and cheese? Is that my belt? Is that my perfume? Is that my bronzer? Is that my choker? Is that my choker? Are those my bangs from three years ago? Is that my earring in your nose? <sighs> Winning tastes so good. You'll like them both, but love our price. Award-winning organic mac and cheese from Aldi. Simply smarter shopping. We launched Priorities for Life 14 years ago to save priority car and truck buyers money. And Priorities for Life has saved them more than we ever imagined. Last year alone, Priority dealerships delivered more than 200,000 oil changes and other services, no charge. That saved Priority owners at least $5 million. Today, thousands are enjoying Priorities for Life savings. Why would you not make your next car a priority? You can have it. This time of year, mm -hmm. on a cold weekend, go indoors. Thank goodness, the, see some sweet rides. The driving won't be as challenging uh, this as coming weekend for the auto show. We definitely want to thank the Hampton Roads Auto Show Dealers Asso Auto Dealers Association for helping us bring you a preview of the 2018 Hampton Roads International Auto Show right here on the Hampton Road Show. And that's like I said. Be sure to add the auto show to your calendar. It's going on this Friday. Mm -hmm. Saturday and Sunday at the Virginia Beach Convention Center. Tickets are $12 at the door. Kids 12 and under are free. Plus, mm -hmm. there are discounts for military and those 65 and older. Get all the info you need before you go and a $3 do, uh, discount coupon at their website. It's Hampton Roads Auto Show. Dot com. And don't forget, as Lee Gonzalez told us, there are giveaways all weekend long. And remember to stop by and see all of your favorite Wavy TV and Fox 43 personalities. There will be a Wavy booth there. A Wavy live truck will be there if you want to check out what goes on in there. And most of our Wavy on-air reporters and anchors will be at the auto show at some point during the weekend. We're going to be there Friday until noon. Will the Jenga be there? I will don't. The, the stack will be we, there. Did we bring it last year? I, yeah, I, didn't, I just got this look like. Oh yes, why we sure it? did of bring it last year. Be there. So All come right. play some stack. With come us. hang out. Come play. It'll yeah. be fun. And let us know what car you think you'd like to see yourself in. 
Mm -hmm. And let's just, you know, it doesn't matter. It's not, you're not buying anything. You can look and dream all you want. I, that's, that's I think the that's the nicest it. thing about this is there will be absolutely no pressure to buy, you know. And, of mm -hmm. course, there are resources. I'm sure somebody from the Hampton Roads Association of Auto Dealers would be able to point you in the right direction mm -hmm. if you're interested. It but happen. it's just not going to happen there. You know, you can just browse it to your heart's content, even if it's a vehicle that's completely out of your league and you just want to see, you know, the innovations and things that are coming on down the line. Yeah, you ready for chance. that driverless revolution? I don't know. I, at the moment, I like to drive, yeah. you know, but I also equate it to um, liking to be on planes and trains where I'm getting yeah. where I need to go in reading magazine or, you know, so. The freedom. I'll be ready for it, I think, when he gets here. What did he, what did he say, about 20 more years? No, five more years. Five years? 2021. Five years? Well, maybe more than that. This is coming sooner than you think. But I just said, let's, let's skip 20 years and just imagine what it's like. All right. Let's not. We'll see. Keep getting in there and punching the gas and spinning <laughs> the wheels and having some fun. I don't drive like that. I'm an excellent driver. All right, on that note, that's going to do it for today's show. You can find all of our segments posted on our website. Just log on to thehamptonroadshow.com. Hey, thank you for joining us. We'd love for you to join us every weekday morning at 11 a.m. on Wavy TV 10 for the Hampton Road Show. I'm Chris Rackling. And I'm Carrie Fury. We'll see you next time, or maybe we'll see you at the 2018 Hampton Roads International Auto Show.